Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Captain Chang Plays. Uh, do not adjust your screen. This is actually normal. Uh, what happens is I am playing Starfleet Command. Yes, the very, very old Star Trek game from almost uh, two decades ago from Interplay, the company that no longer exists. And yes, this is a Star Trek game. And in case you're wondering what these symbols are, this is the Federation. Yes, that's a Federation. That's the Klingons. Uh, that's the Gorns. No, sorry, that's the Hydrants. That's the Lyrans. That's the Gorn. And that's the Romulans. Just for simplicity's sake, well, let's start with the Federation. Okay, uh, we're not going to do multiplayer, and I don't think the film room works that well. Let's just start on the captain level. We'll upgrade to Commodore and Admiral a little later. Okay, let's start a campaign. Uh, okay, we're going to do Captain Chang here. Uh, level, etc, etc, etc. Don't worry about all that. We'll just do a begin new campaign. You wondering what the early and late era is? That just makes the different ships available. Some of the ships are uh, have a uh, before a refit would have uh, certain areas that are not covered very well. And then uh, certain models are not available early, and so on and so forth. Alright. Let us... Let's go ahead and uh, save the game. Just use this... Uh, S1, close enough, right? I don't really need a Starbase tour. Let's just go ahead and uh, do the all the uh, Academy things. All right. This game is actually known for being uh, extremely technical and detail-oriented because this was based on a board game called Starfleet Battles. Starfleet Battles is one of those board games that were not licensed by Paramount. And what happens is they are uh, licensed directly from the makers of uh, the Starfleet Technical Manual. It's called the, uh, the France, nowadays it's called the Franz Joseph Manual, the Starfleet Technical Manual. And, uh, but that's just background. Let's uh, go ahead and start basic controls. Alright, this short tutorial will cover basic tactical interface and controls. Uh, yes, I am a lieutenant commander. We're not going to take any of this. We'll just... Uh, none of this really matters. I'll just go ready. And in case you're wondering why there is this big uh, black area... Welcome to Starfleet Command, Lieutenant Commander. I am Captain Sulu. Yes, they really got George Takei narrating this. I've been this. asked to take you through your final simulated exercises. We're going to teach you how to command a starship and how to handle yourself in a fight. First, let's do a quick review of a ship's basic interface and controls. There are two viewport settings available. Press the D key to toggle the 3D view screen between tactical and full screen views. Ah yes, the beauty of space draws the spirit, even in this simulator. Space is often dangerous. Ready the never sail for battle. Press R for red alert. Red Alert sets all stations aboard a starship to combat readiness. Shields are brought online. The phaser capacitor is fully charged, and the photon torpedo launchers are loaded with normal warheads. At the lower left corner of the display is the Neversail's throttle and speed indicator. 
Let's bring the never sail up to a helm speed of 10. Two freighters have been added to this simulation. Target one of the freighters by right-clicking on the ship or the ship icon. Another method of targeting is to use the T key to cycle through all ships within sensor range. Good. Now that you have the basics of helm control and targeting, let's blow something up. To fire on a target with your currently selected weapon, press the Z key or click the fire button on the lower right-hand side of the viewport. Destroy these two freighters. to go, Lieutenant Commander. This game normally runs at a much lower resolution. I had to find a high-res patch, which allows it to go all the way to uh, 1920 by 1080, which is what I'm running right now, which is why all the fonts look positively tiny. idea we have to go back and hit that shield remember uh, we should hit the same shield if we can let's see a rear weapon fire He brought the shield back up. Well, doesn't matter. Turn away again. Okay, let's do orbit. Yeah, we got a couple different uh, burns and stuff like that. Okay, I need to get, uh, let's get back to, let's do follow. 
because I need to get behind him in order to do the photon torpedo. Let's slow down. that way so we can come up behind it. Photons are ready. Well, those freighters will never bother anyone again. Excellent job. Lieutenant Commander, you may now proceed to the second tutorial. Well, that took seven minutes, and well, we'll do some of the other ones later. These technical ones are just uh, showing you the specific uh, systems available on each of the ship types, and yes, they even have dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you in the next video then. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Blah, blah, blah.